The Eyes of Freedom features life-size paintings of the men from Lima Company who sadly lost their lives in 2005 during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The memorial is not only for those directly affected, but is an opportunity for everyone to connect with these brave servicemen, like Ellen Regat, who came out in honor of her neighbor's son, who's featured in the piece. I didn't know Chris, I just know his parents. And I know how it affected them. And uh, they're very proud of him. The artist spent two years on the project, and what a huge success it has been. The exhibit has traveled all over the country to nearly 100 events, representing all who risked their lives for our country. It's not just the guys of Lima Company. It's any service member from any war. It's a connection to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for their country. What's unique about the exhibit is the pair of boots provided by the families that are placed in front of the troops. Inside of some of them, you'll find personal photos or letters. However, what captivates you the most about these paintings is the life reflected in the eyes, which gave it the name, The Eyes of Freedom. Mike Straley, the director of the exhibit, was also a member of the Lima Company, who now devotes his time to helping the country heal from this modern war. You're experiencing all of these different battles and different situations. Some of them can be upsetting, but when you walk out, you walk out taller than when you walked in. And that's what we want here, too. Staff workers refer to this museum as the Marine House. And for this traveling exhibit, this is home. In Triangle, Kelsey Tisdale, News 4.